Public transport is becoming increasingly important, with the need for more and more tracks. The constant maintenance of track sections is critical, but time and money spent on maintenance can be substantially reduced through the application at the start of specially developed synthetic materials. It's no longer just a case of laying a track. Moreover, environmental considerations are high, especially when it comes to noise and vibration. Adilon has been applying the cork lust technique for years. It involves embedding a track in a layer of cork-bearing polymer with noise and vibration-absorbing properties. The new Erasmus Bridge in Rotterdam is a 410-meter-long cable-stayed fixed bridge built of steel. It includes a movable section with a 50-meter clearance. The number 20 tram runs across the bridge, but there was some concern that the steel bridge would amplify the noise like a sandbox. A perfect case for the Edelon Corklast embedded rail system. To apply the synthetic material all around the rail, the section must be suspended. Then spaces in which material saving plastic tubes are installed ensure that the rail can be set horizontally at a later stage and fixed with wedges. There is a thorough testing of the trough containing the track section of embedded rail incorporating cork bearing polymer cork lust. The more the cork lust layer is compressed, the more vibration and noise are absorbed. Even at an angle of stress of 22 degrees and a burden of 3 million alternating loads, the adhesion between the cork last and the steel trough remains entirely intact. Laying tracks in the troughs and building them into tram rails. Using an adjustable harness, the rails are suspended and joined. It is a matter of constantly aligning and adjusting. Welding the rails. Precision alignment in the trough. Positioning of the exact rail gauge and crossfall. And finally, fixing with the wedges. Next, the cork lust is poured all around. To lend more support to the lateral direction of the track, the side between the railhead and the wall of the trough is filled with extra cork last. On the abutment concrete floor, the lengths of rail are fixed by means of glued resin anchors. The bearing points are brought to the same level on the concrete. Temperature fluctuations demand special provisions for the rails along the bridge. After all, the steel bridge must expand and contract freely without affecting the track's ability to carry railed traffic. But the track arrives in a bend where no expansion devices can be laid to absorb expansion and contraction. This can be solved by fixing the curve to a sliding framed construction laid on Teflon plates. Each frame is held fast at the abutment with a joint link. The expansion device is found at the other end on the bridge where the track is straight. 
Now, the good positioning of the rail track is guaranteed, while the bridge can move freely along its length under the frame. Fitting and measuring. At the expansion joints between the piers, where expansion devices are also necessary. Installation of overhead wiring. A matter of nuts, bolts, outrigging, suspension and tension wiring. High time for the first tram to cross the new track. The whole track is inspected from all sides. Elsewhere in the city, the noise and vibration-proof track laying system is also being installed. Greater comfort for passengers and fewer problems for nearby residents. The core class technique is also used for train rails. Its noise and vibration absorption properties are of great value, especially on steel bridges. In a near fully automated process, Corklast is manufactured at the Edelon factory in Harlem. It is constantly monitored by quality controllers. Besides Edelon embedded rail, Edelon glued insulated rail joints are another Folkestafin rail and traffic speciality. Glued joints are essential for making the route secure. Once again, it's a matter of measuring and fitting. Nowadays, the glue has to be simply injected. This innovation has been achieved through close cooperation between the rail builder and rail system supplier. Finally, an anti-corrosion layer is applied to ensure trouble-free usage for years. Glue jointing is also applied to conductive constructions, ensuring the continued intensive use of the net without disruptions. Every Edelon system is tested extensively before it is applied to the track. Glued joints are tested for tension, sagging and fatigue. Another example of life cycle management is the application of Edelon DEX-K 2K. This is a synthetic undercoating for wooden sleepers which lengthens their lifespan and limits maintenance. Edelon and Folkestafen Rail and Traffic. 
your partners for the best possible modern rail construction connections.